Hi, John here from Churches Alive Online. Right, I'm going to show you how to edit images that you have already uploaded to your website. That includes resizing, cropping and rotating as well as a few other tools. It's important that you do resize the pictures uh, physically on your website so that they are as small as possible to make downloading faster, especially on mobile devices. Right, I'm going to show you how to edit this image here on this example page. I've decided I want to crop it a little bit and just rotate it to make it look a little bit more interesting. So I've already logged into my back end and I want to find the example page. If I just type in the first few letters in the article manager and click on search, you should find it. Okay, let's have a look what's going on. Ah, here's my search button click on that it will find example page or any other files that have got those letters in the name so I load it up and it's a single click on the image and then the button that you're looking for just here okay that's the image manager button I click on there okay so the next button that I want is just down here which is going to manage the editing process for me. Okay, so if we hover over the mouse, if you did forget, you should be able to hold the mouse over and it will tell you the name of edit image. That's what I want to do. Okay, so I want to crop it, so I'm just going to use the crop feature on the side and I'm just going to drag these handles. I hold my mouse over the corner, it changes from a crosshair to a little black arrow then I can just drag that to where I want it to be and again up here in the top right hand corner it's a crosshair and when I hold it over the black square it turns into a little arrow I'm going to drag that round okay now I want to crop like that so I'm just going to click on apply okay so in the same way you could here rotate, resize the image there if you so wished Okay, there you go, it's applied the cropping process. Okay, that, so resizing there would be um, very easy to do. And also, this side I've decided I'm going to rotate it, so I'm going to click on there and then save. The other option is you've got on here, you've got a few effects that you could choose to apply if you so wished. So let's try that one there, number four. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go for that dull fade effect on my image. I've got my rotate as well. I'm going to click on save. Now it wants a new name for my image. I'm just going to call it faded hands and click on OK. So that's going to put that image back in my image manager folder on the website. And now I should be able to insert that quite easily into the document. So now before, that's the uh, the image I had before, this one I want faded hands this time, okay. So I click on update, now it's changed the image that I had before to my new cropped, rotated and faded version. Click on save and close and let's take a little look at the front page, do a refresh what have I got now? Okay, so that's how I wanted it to look. As I said before, it's probably a good idea to upload, to, to do any large scale resizing before you upload to your website. One way to do resize is just to find an online editor. So you could go to Google and type in resize JPG online and you'll find plenty of tools ready to do that for you and uh, they're all free if you type in batch resize JPG online that's the terminology for if you want to um, resize large numbers of files at once but batch or bulk resize is, a, is um, what you need to look for so if you've got larger numbers of files I suggest doing it that way okay it's also possible to resize the pictures as you are uploading them to your website so I'm in my
article manager here in the example page and if I want to upload a picture and resize it as I upload I go to the point where I want to insert my picture I want to add it above the heading I click on image now I'm going to upload here okay and as I upload it's asking me it's giving me the option of resizing here so I'm going to resize to 640 with as I upload okay so I'm going to find whichever file I want okay and then it will just re automatically resize it for me while I'm uploading okay so there's a few points in your website okay I hope that was useful if it was like make comments I'll try and get back to you to every comment if I can also please do subscribe to my channel and pass the word around if you find it useful if you do click subscribe you'll be the first to know when there are new training videos uploaded and ready for you.